Imagine a single building that held the wisdom of the ancient world, the Great Library of Alexandria. It was more than a collection of scrolls, it was the intellectual heart of civilization, drawing the greatest minds to study, debate, and expand human knowledge. Here, Eratosthenes calculated the Earth's circumference, and leaps in geometry, astronomy, and medicine were made. The library's loss wasn't a single fire but a slow decline, neglect, political turmoil, and repeated disasters erasing centuries of thought. Each lost scroll was a vanished world, a universe of ideas and discoveries gone forever. Today, less than 1% of ancient literature survives, the rest is lost to time. The library once housed hundreds of thousands of scrolls, plays, philosophies, scientific treatises, most of which we'll never read. The world plunged into darkness, taking centuries to recover from this catastrophic loss. Historians and archaeologists have spent generations piecing together fragments, trying to reconstruct a galaxy from a handful of stars. The interconnected web of knowledge the library represented seemed gone for good, or so we thought. What if we could bridge that chasm of time? What if the ghosts of Alexandria could speak again? Today, that fantasy is becoming reality. The scale of the loss is staggering but so is the potential for recovery. Imagine rediscovering lost worlds not through excavation but through technology. The question is no longer just what we lost but what we might regain. The wound in our collective memory may finally begin to heal. The past is calling and for the first time in centuries, we can answer. The story of Alexandria is not over. It's about to be rewritten. Enter the Quantum Historical Reconstruction Project or QHRP a global initiative uniting historians, linguists, archaeologists, quantum physicists, and AI engineers. Their goal digitally resurrect the lost texts of Alexandria not by finding new fragments, but by teaching a machine to think like the ancient world. At the heart of the project is Lex, a revolutionary AI that blends classical supercomputers with quantum processors. Lex doesn't just process data, it understands context, style, and influence, learning the grammar of Homer, the logic of Plato, and the style of Herodotus. The team fed Lex every surviving piece of ancient Greek and Latin text, every fragment, inscription, and manuscript. Lex mapped out who wrote what, who influenced whom, and what subjects were discussed across centuries. It learned to distinguish the prose of philosophy from the cadence of poetry, and to identify the unique fingerprint of each author. The AI was even trained on metadata, scroll characteristics, ink composition, and archaeological context, the aim to build a virtual mind steeped in the intellectual world of the ancient Mediterranean. For the first time we have a tool that can see the shape of what's missing. The lost voices of Alexandria are within reach. How does this quantum scribe work? The classical computing side scans and indexes every known ancient text, building a web of connections. Who quoted whom? Who argued against what? This forms a skeleton of the missing works. The quantum processor then explores thousands of possible reconstructions at once, generating versions consistent with the author's style and the logic of the era. It models not just words, but the entire thought space of an author, Aristotle's logic, Sappho's lyricism, Herodotus's narrative. The AI finds the most probable path through this cloud of possibilities, collapsing it into the likeliest reconstruction. Classical and quantum systems work in a feedback loop, quantum generates, classical checks for consistency with known facts and style, each cycle refines the text, increasing accuracy. The result is a digital dialogue between data analysis and creative intuition. The AI doesn't just fill gaps, it resurrects voices. For the first time we can approach the original minds behind the lost works. The process is not perfect but it's revolutionary. The past is being rebuilt, one thought at a time. The results are breathtaking. The QHRP has released high-confidence reconstructions of some of history's most sought-after voices. Sappho's poetry, once just fragments, now fills hundreds of pages with vivid personal expressions of love and loss. Aristotle's lost public dialogues have been restored, revealing a persuasive, accessible thinker beyond the lecture notes. Anaximander's has been regenerated offering a rational, non-mythological explanation for the cosmos. These are not curiosities, they are foundational texts, returned to us. Lost plays, histories, and technical manuals are being reconstructed, opening new windows into the ancient world. The library is no longer a ghost, but a living body of knowledge. These reborn texts are forcing us to rethink the timeline of scientific discovery. A reconstructed Pythagorean dialogue describes a heliocentric solar system, predating known theories by a century. Democritus's details atoms in constant motion, 
speculating on a force akin to gravity, astonishing for its time. Medical treatises describe arteries and veins, and a system of pulses from the heart, centuries before Galen. These discoveries challenge the idea of a linear progression of knowledge. The so-called Dark Ages look less like ignorance, more like catastrophic data loss. Humanity is rediscovering knowledge that was once within its grasp. The journey of science is being rewritten. The academic world is electrified and divided. Some see the AI as a miracle, resurrecting lost libraries and offering a window into the ancient mind. They argue the reconstructions are logical, consistent, and stylistically authentic. Digital archaeology, not forgery. Others are skeptical. Is this a sophisticated fabrication reflecting our own biases? The AI was trained by modern humans. Could it be creating what we expect to find? The dilemma. Are we reading Aristotle or a plausible Aristotle bot? The AI's complexity makes direct verification impossible. Skeptics urge caution, treating these texts as hypotheses, not fact. The debate is far from settled. The QHRP anticipated these concerns and built safeguards into the AI. Every reconstructed passage comes with a confidence score showing how certain the AI is about its accuracy. Scholars can see which sections are solid and which are speculative, turning the process into a dialogue between human and machine. The AI also uses stylistic authentication, comparing new texts to the author's known works for hundreds of markers. Sometimes the AI even flags its own reconstructions as stylistic mismatches, suggesting a student or later commentator. This self-correction helps combat modern bias. The AI actively searches for anachronisms and inconsistencies. These measures don't eliminate all doubt, but they create a rigorous framework for trust. The process is now evidence-based, not just an act of faith. The past is being restored with transparency and care. This breakthrough transforms our relationship with the past. History is now a dynamic, explorable space, not just a static collection of artifacts. We can trace ideas from their origins to their influence across centuries. The tragedy of Alexandria was the fragility of its medium. Scrolls burn, data decays. This AI offers a living archive, able to reconstruct knowledge even if some data is lost. For the first time, the past can speak back to us. We are reconnecting with lost minds, feeling their curiosity and genius. The chain of inquiry stretches unbroken across millennia. The debates will continue, and the AI's reconstructions will be scrutinized for years. But a door has opened that cannot be closed. We stand at the edge of a new ocean of knowledge with Alexandria's voices whispering once more. Our duty is to listen, learn, and carry their legacy forward. The conversation with the universe has begun again.